loving greetings to you and this topic is it's a difficult topic I'm, I'm going to admit that it is how do you deal with a husband who's flirting with another woman I'm Paul Friedman I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation I've been doing this for 23 years before that I was a divorce mediator so I've worked with women who have you know we have online courses now but it wasn't always that way for eight years I was working directly with individuals so I could develop the processes that we now have and it was always painful for me to listen to the stories that women had good women you know not not the kind of women that you would think that a husband would cheat on and most of the women I worked with uh, were on the verge of divorce quite frankly because I was a divorce mediator I was pulling them out of the second Saturday meetings which is a support group for divorcing women and so I heard some terrible stories many of the husbands were on these dating sites they've changed I guess there's different dating sites now sexting sites and and in some cases, uh, the easier cases, I would say, the women were having to deal with husbands who right in front of them would flirt maybe with the waitress at a restaurant or a coworker at a, a function, a business function. And I could see the pain in their eyes. And I imagine that you're going through that right now and usually people don't search for this kind of thing unless they're really suffering with it so there are some things to keep in mind because ultimately what i would always ask is well what is it that you really want and know that you cannot directly change your husband's behavior you can't tell him you have to stop doing this you especially can't say or I'm gonna leave you ultimatums never ever work in any scenario much less in this kind of scenario bear in mind that your husband is not doing this in order to hurt you although some of them are and because they don't want to hurt you so much that's not what they're thinking they're not saying well this will hurt my wife they're thinking maybe my wife is going to get the message here. So it's important to understand where your husband is, not just at that moment, but what's going on. Because what is universally true is that when a husband is flirting with another woman, it means that the marriage is not firing on all eight cylinders, as men say. It means that your marriage is not producing those things that your husband and you expected from your marriage when you got married. What did you expect when you got married? And you go, well, not this, granted. But what did you really want? And this is a question that I discovered no one ever asks, which is why the Marriage Foundation is so great because now what we're doing is we're dealing with real things. And the real thing here is, why did you get married? And the answer is universally true. You got married to be happier. You fell in love with your husband who is your soulmate. This is a truth. This is not some greeting card saying soulmate. This is a reality because we are souls. You're a soul. He's a soul. I'm a soul. And you found your soulmate in this world of craziness. You fell in love with him. You wanted to be with him for the rest of your lives and not just to be with him. You wanted to be with him because 
you instinctively, intuitively is a better term for this, you intuitively knew that the two of you could make each other unbelievably happy. Those moments that you had before you even talked about engagement that were just so fulfilling, that's what you envision for the rest of your lives. And now he's flirting with other women. What happened? Well, I can give you a list. Number one at the top of the list, and I'm not gonna give you the whole list, is over-familiarity. This is the term that I came up with that defines how people take each other for granted when they get to know each other better. And you would think as you get to know each other, objectively you would think, as I get to know him better and he gets to know me better, we can please each other more. But that's not what's happening, is it? Be honest with yourself. Now, you're not going to get him to change by direct action. But if you start taking what we at the Marriage Foundation consider to be the right tact in your marriage, he will respond. If you are more loving, and this is true for men too, when men are having this problem, that's less less of a problem for men because it doesn't happen that often. But if you're giving him positive attention, positive feedback, there's no complaining, no criticizing, you know, the way you behaved before when you were dating and the sex is back and the intimacy is back and the smiles are back, you'll see a big change. Is there any other way to do this? No. Now, we don't deal in theory at the Marriage Foundation. We don't look to label your husband as a blah, 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 or you as a blah, blah, blah. We don't bother with that. What we do is we lay out, out of our experience, out of scientific understanding, what is the right way to behave? What is the right way to cultivate the love that you cherish? that you crave. How do you do it? And that's what we're all about. For starters, and probably in your mind right now is, but what do I do at the moment? What do I do at the moment? And I always would say to my clients, do you really just want to handle the moment or do you want to eliminate this completely? And I'm going to say the same thing to you. There's nothing you could do in the moment that's going to be like a magic wand. Some women say, well, I should let him know. That is not going to help. And it's not going to help your marriage as a whole. You have free will. You need to decide. Do you really want to be married to him? Because if you do, you need to understand that that means you should be behaving in a very marriage-friendly way or he will eventually leave you, just like you will eventually leave him if he doesn't. Now, some people say, well, it takes two to tango, and we know from experience that that's not true for marriage. Why? Because marriage is about bridges between the two of you. Some are just mundane little bridges, but some are super, super high bridges. The bridges of love, the bridges of intimacy. Those are bridges that go above the mundane life that most of us lead. And building those bridges can be a one person job. When the bridges are there, so many of these kinds of problems just dissolve. They're not there anymore. So start by testing what I'm saying. Be nicer, be more loving, not more approachable, be more sensual, more sexy, more loving, more considerate, more touchy, the way you were when you were dating and see what happens. But it, I'll give you a bonus in this video. 
At the moment when he's flirting, go up to him, take his arm, move close to him, whisper in his ear, honey, I love you so much. You want to go home and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Try the positive. Marriage is supposed to be nothing but positive. I hope you liked the video. I hope you leave a positive comment. I hope that you subscribe to the channel. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. I hope you go to our website. See what all we have to offer you. God bless you. Thank you. Take care.